North Shore Center for Simulation and Innovation is a uh, 13,000 square foot simulation center. And uh, we are a bit unique in that we are not housed on the campus of uh, an academic medical center or medical school. Um, we are in a community-based hospital system that services a four hospital health system. And that uh, plays into our mission of uh, training um, adult level learners. I call them adults uh, because they are out in clinical practice and they use the uh, center to maintain and update their skills. Uh, we have uh, achieved accreditation with the Society for Simulation in Healthcare as a uh, center for um, training excellence. We have achieved uh, accreditation with the American College of Surgeons and uh, more recently, we have uh, obtained the ability to run maintenance of certification and anesthesia courses for um, anesthesiologists. We are, we are on target to have approximately 6,000 learners come through our space this year, of which probably 200 uh, a month will be using um, Trauma Man or Trauma Child or, or Central Line Man uh, during their experience. The way we used to do um, Procedure training was on uh, cadavers with our residents. We would have we would buy two cadavers, and we'd have a whole class of residents come down. We could only do it once or twice a year because of the cost, and um, so as you can imagine, not everybody would get a first cut uh, experience. Um, oftentimes, uh, you know, the cadavers wouldn't allow for the uh, the visual feedback and the tactile feedback, and so. Uh, having you know trauma man and uh, central line man um, has been a fantastic way for us to uh, increase the training opportunities for our residents um, and we like the simulab products because we feel like they provide uh, number one a great tactile feel it's true to life it's really important that that uh, be present so the the feeling that they get the, the visual cues and the, and the sensory cues tactile are really important. Number two is the first cut experience and that's oftentimes the most important thing that people can get out of these, uh, these simulations. It was really nice to see in our trauma simulation not only them, uh, the residents managing the case well but also being able to, to do the chest tube uh, real time and watch them as they did it making the first cut uh, getting uh, the uh, the pop through the pleura, which sounds and feels uh, very realistic, yeah. okay, good. and then you can see on the expressions on their face that they're really into it, and they they get a sense that when there's blood coming out, that they're doing it on as real a person as as currently possible, so that that translates into the next time when they're doing it on a real patient they get the same tactile feedback, they get the same mental image and experience, so they gain confidence and they gain technical proficiency. And the beauty is that they can practice it again. If there's something that they weren't quite sure of, they talk it over with the instructor and then they did it again and gain more experience. So you can do this you know, as many times as you want before you do it on a real patient. Mid-level providers will also practice uh, wound care techniques and uh, suturing on the, uh, the tissue. We've been using Simulab products for the last seven years and I feel very comfortable saying that we would highly recommend that if you're uh, starting a program either in central line training, um, tube thoracostomy training, um, advanced trauma uh, training that uh, you look at the products because uh, they will definitely help your um, your training initiatives and will we'll make your practitioners better. Mm -hmm.